Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do this problem right here, which is a pre-calculation of the time of sunrise. Um, and uh, the same method would be we used for uh, sunset. You just use a different uh, column. Um, so uh, we're going to do this in three steps. We're going to first we're going to do what's called the first estimate. Okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to um, advance to the time of the first estimate. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to convert the longitude, okay, uh, from our advanced, uh, convert the longitude from step two to arc to time and apply that to uh, the first estimate from step one, okay? The instructions are actually written down here. They're a little bit cryptic. This is uh, in the Nautical Almanac um, towards the back, one of the last few pages. Uh, I can zoom in here a little bit. Um, let me just do that. And so uh, it says that, uh, like I said, it's a little bit cryptic. But for table one is interpolating for the local mean time of sunrise, twilight, moonrise, etc. For latitude, it is to be entered in the appropriate column on the left, that's over here, with the difference between the true latitude and the nearest tabular latitude, which is less, okay? Um, so uh, that is, uh, that's this uh, column over here, these numbers here, and, um, and also uh, with the argument at the top, which is the nearest value of the difference between the times of the tabular latitude, the next higher one. So that's this. I'll explain all this as we go along. The correction so obtained is applied to the time of the tabular latitude. Okay, great. So that is rather cryptic. Let me just show you what the process is. So um, let's go back to our uh, sheet here. It's February 13th, 0325 zone time. Here's our latitude and longitude. Uh, for uh, And then we're going to be steering 240, 13.6. What, what's that? So the first estimate what we're going to do is we're going to approximate the time we're going to get the approximate time for our latitude and our central meridian, okay? So um, what did it see here? Uh, 155, so our central meridian here is going to be uh, 150, okay? So uh, and so we're going to find out, uh, our first estimate is going to be uh, 20, the uh, 2320, 150. So to do that, I got to go to the Nautical Almanac. So I got to go to February uh, 13th page. Here it is. And here are the sunrise uh, tables. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little, let me zoom in just a touch. All right. All right. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll come in just a tad more. All right. And then let me just adjust this. Here we go. All right. Great. So we're on the right page. And uh, we're, our latitude is 20, 3, 20. So we're between these two, okay? So these are south latitudes. These are north latitudes. Here's the sunrise table. So what we're going to do is we're going to need some data from right here. Okay, now, if I look at this, 23, 20 is about, uh, it's a third of the way between 20 and 30. So if I look over here, uh, 630 to uh, 42, that's 12 minutes. So a third of that time would be about, four minutes, okay? So a 12 minute difference, a third, I'm, I'm a little bit more, I'm uh, later than 0630, I'm earlier than 0642. I'm thinking that my first estimate is gonna be by eyeball around 634. And that's actually good enough. But um, if we wanted to follow the instructions on this table, okay, then what we would do is this, okay? So I'm gonna set this up for you, okay? So this is gonna be our, uh, our, uh, tabular interval. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this uh, 30 and this 20. So I'm going to put them in those orders, 30, 20. All right, that's 10. And then I'm going to take my actual latitude, which is so my lat, okay, is 23, 20. And I'm going to subtract whichever one of these is lower, that's 20. And my latitude difference is three is 320. Okay, great. 
Okay, now the last 20. Now the last thing I need is my two times. So the time for uh, 30 degrees north was 0642, and the time for 20 degrees north is 0630. That's a 12 minute difference, okay? So we've already done uh, in our, by eyeball, we've said it's gonna be about 634, but I'm gonna show you now how to use this table. So we go to that table in the back of the book, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, is that this number here is gonna be, uh, it's either gonna be 10, five, or two, okay? We go back over here, uh, you can see here that uh, the, the difference between those is two, uh, the difference between those is five, and the, down here it's 10. So uh, since our number here is 10, we're going to go to the 10 column. It was five, we go to there, we go to there. Okay, anyway. Now, 320. So uh, three, I can go to three or I can go to 330. I'm going to go to uh, uh, 330. Okay, so this is going to be my row. And then we have 12 minutes. So I'm going to slide over here, and it looks to me like we're between three and five. So uh, I would say about four minutes. Okay, uh, you know, uh, but if we were to round down, we might say three. So my correction is three minutes, okay? So uh, now what am I gonna do with that? So my correction from this table is three minutes. I'm gonna apply that to the time of the lower latitude, 0630, and I get 0633. Now by eyeball earlier, we had said 0634, it's basically the same number. That's our first estimate. That is gonna be for our latitude and our central meridian. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna DR out to there. So to DR, I'm gonna pull out my triangle now, okay? And uh, 23, 20, so here's 23, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, so there's 23, 20, great. So I can put this on here, I get my triangle going, and that looks pretty good. So 15 is gonna be around, over, so I'll go like this, and then 15, uh, This I'll make this, uh, 155 okay and now i'll make this west that makes this 156 west so i'll go 5 10 15 so i'll put my pencil down right there i bring my triangle up here taking advantage of these perpendicular lines on the triangle and i got that pretty well perpendicular there that looks pretty good boom all right so that's my dr at 06 at 0325 Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to advance to 0633. So, boom, I've got that plotted. So let's actually do our little uh, our uh, advance. So I have 0634, or, or well, in this case, I guess I'm gonna use 33, 0633. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract 0325. All right, and when I do that, um, what am I going to get there for my time difference? I think that is going to be five and three. So that's eight. Oh, that's uh, three hours and eight minutes. Okay. Three hours and eight minutes. And I'm going at 13.6 uh, knots. Okay. So I got to convert that eight uh, to um, uh, a decimal. Great. So uh, I'm going to take uh, eight minutes. All right, and I'll divide that by 60, and that's 0.1, and I'm gonna, then I'll add in three. So that is 3.13 hours. So that's 3.13 hours. Now I'm gonna multiply that by 13.6 uh, times 13.6, and that's gonna give me 42.6 nautical miles. So that's how far I go, 42.6 nautical miles. Now you could also have done this advance by using a sailing, but I'm just gonna do it by uh, right here. So here we go, uh, 20, 240 is my course. So here's my course, and let me get my triangle lined up. That looks like 240 right about, uh, oh, right about there, okay, great. So I can draw a little line like this. Now, uh, 46.2 miles, so here we go. There's 30, 35, there's 40, 45, uh, what do I got? 42, okay, so 40, 41, 42, and a skosh. So I come down here, I put that there, and I go like that, and that is my, uh, that's my, um, uh, that'd be my uh, 0633, 0633 DR. Now what I need is I need the longitude from that. So I'm gonna put my pencil down right where that was, I'm gonna get my triangle lined up here, okay? And I get my triangle all nice and lined up.
Great. And I'll make a little tick mark up there. So that looks to me like it's 155.55. Okay. So my DR longitude at 0633 is 155.55 west. Okay. Now I'm going to need to convert that uh, in just a minute to, from arc to time. So what's the next step then? Okay. Well, the next step is what I want to do is I want to find out what the time difference is between that and my central meridian. So my central meridian is 150 west. So uh, let's see. Now we're on to step three. So I've got 155.55 west and 150 is my central meridian. So I am five degrees, 55 minutes west of my central meridian. Okay, great. So this is what I'm going to convert to arc to time. And I am west of it. I'm going to be later. So, great. What was my uh, first estimate? My first estimate was 0633 zone time. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the arc for 5 degrees, and then I'm going to apply the arc for 55 minutes. And that will give me a final time. So to do that, I have to go to the arc to time page in the Nautical Almanac, which is here. Okay? And uh, I'll zoom in on that a little bit. All right. And so uh, we want five degrees. So here's five degrees. Five degrees is 20 minutes. Okay. So the 20 minutes goes here. And then the 55 minutes, I got to come over here to uh, the side. And this is my minutes here. So I'll slide. Down. Great. So uh, here we are. Uh, so here's 55 minutes. It's three minutes and 40 seconds. We're just going to call that four minutes. So I put that there. Now I add all this up. Three and four is seven. 2 and 3 is 5, 0, 06, that is, the, that is my estimate for the time of sunrise uh, for this problem. And that's the complete solution.